job. When you are searching for a job in this area of the world, they tell you 80% of the job is what? Is hidden. It's not there. The internet one you see is just there. The real job is no one on one. I'm praying for you that somebody will connect with you that will give you that job in the name of the Lord Jesus. You say, sir, my issue is not job. It is that I am sick. God also sent me this hour that as I pray for you, that sickness will disappear. God sent Demetrius. Demetrius stood up and dismissed this unwholesome storm. My point is this. Number one, when you are in any uproar storm, call on Jesus. Number two is that God will send a helper. God will find somebody to assist you. I remember the time of Moses. You know, there was this king called Pharaoh who was, you know, worried about the young men that the people of Israel were raising. And the Bible says he did everything to make sure that all that he needed to be done is so that his position can be secured. He wanted to kill all the young men. And he first of all ordered the housewives to, or, or uh, I mean the midwives to make sure when the children of Israel were in labor and they found out that the children they want to bear is a son, they should do what? They just kill him. But these people feared God and they were not doing that. So he now ordered anybody beyond two years must be killed. And that was the time Moses was born. And the parents of Moses feared God. They said, this is a godly child. We are not going to kill our son. The Bible says they brought that child, they kept that child for three months. And when they could no more keep the child, they brought that child to the riverside. And guess what? Who came? The daughter of Pharaoh who has no son, who had no child. So when he saw that child, he screamed. She screamed and said, you know what? This is one of the Hebrew children. And instead of killing that boy, guess what he did? He took that child. And Mary and the senior sister of Moses came out and said, can I get you a nurse of the Hebrew woman to help you take care of this? And the Bible said, oh yeah, go ahead. And that is how Moses grew up. I have good news for you. Somebody that will assist you, will connect with you this year in the name of Jesus. Somebody that will help you to come out of debt. Somebody that will take you out of that frustration. My God will bring that person to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. When the uproar ceases, that's when you can move on. That's when your life can have meaning. And I'm praying that today, God will help you to do that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How did the opera cease? In 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 31, the Bible says, when Absalom rose up against his father, and all the city were against him, one of the peculiar things that happened was there is a man called Ahitophel. Ahitophel is like the oracle of God. When Ahitophel speaks, everybody listens. Because whatever he says, if you follow his counsel, you are sure to have victory. And this loyal person to David, you will not believe it, he defected and went and joined Absalom against David, the anointed. Maybe you are an anointed child of God. You are a child of God. You are serving God. God has put you in a position. You are the CEO of your company, and somehow there are people who have risen against you. Listen to me. All you need to do is to follow the counsel by which David did. David didn't fight Absalom. He ran away, as a matter of fact, from the throne, from his son. But he prayed one prayer. The Bible said in Second, uh, in First Kings chapter 15, verse 32, it said, O Lord, 
turn the wisdom of Ahithophel into foolishness. The counsel of darkness against you. The Bible said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The counsel of the powers of darkness against you. I ask God today to turn them to foolishness. Whatever counsel, whatever way the enemy has gathered against you, the power of God will nullify them in the name of Jesus. Do you know what happened? As Absalom, the handsome man, was riding on his mood, the Bible says his ear fell, caught in the wigs, and himself, the, the, the horse drove <laughs> under him, and himself found himself dangling until he died. Ahitophel gave a wonderful counsel, but God countered that counsel. There's a man by the name of Hosai who came around and said, no, 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 this cancer you have given cannot work. That led Ahitophel to commit suicide. Whoever is against you this hour, whoever is making your life miserable this hour, you have nothing to worry because he's running to himself to suicide up problems. Prince, hear me now, hear me well. Any uproar in your life, any commotion in your life shall cease in the name of the Lord Jesus. Before I pray for you, I like you to say this one. I want to make this point clear because all I've given to you, they happen instantaneous, instantaneously. The solution came instantaneously. But you remember the story of Joseph. The story of Joseph also was a storm, but that storm did not end immediately. I know we are in a microwave age. Whatever we are going through, we just want the situation to change immediately. No. Some of you will need to persevere. Some of you will need to study more. Some of you will need to go through this one. But the good news I have for you is that it will cease. Because at the end of the day, even though it seems that Joseph was going from more trouble to trouble, from Pete to being sold to slavery, from slavery to being a, a, a houseboy, and from there, they, I mean, they lied against him and they treated him into prison. But one day, and your day of glory is here. The Bible says he became the prime minister in Egypt when the uproar ceased. I see you overcoming. I see the uproar in your life ceasing. I see that commotion ceasing in the name of the Lord Jesus. I just want to pray for you this afternoon. And I want you to pray yourself for, for yourself concerning the issues we are facing. I want you to stand and say to yourself, Lord, every Demetrius, every power of darkness that is challenging me, I cause them to die. But friend, these things don't just happen. It is based on your relationship with Jesus. And so if you are listening to me this afternoon and you have not made Jesus your Lord and Savior, of course you need to do that. And I need you to pray with me right now. Lord God Almighty, I believe there are people here who are going through tumults, who are going through situations that are unwanted, but they don't know the way out. And you have given me an opportunity to share that way of with them, but they need to know you and connect with you as their Lord and Savior. I pray, oh God, that they will find you this hour in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I want to pray, Lord Jesus, for those of them that need, Lord, the city clerk. Somebody will come in to their situation and dismiss the assemblies of the wickedness. I command that person to show up in your life. Maybe your case is that you have been believing God for a spouse. That man that will come and make your life joyful. If you are within the GTA, our church is Christ Apostolic Church Bethel, Toronto. We are located at 94 Kenhart Drive, Suit 22. Our major intersection is Western Road and Finch Avenue. My phone numbers are written on the screen. Call us. We have a church bus that can carry you from anywhere to be part of what we are doing. This message is brought to you by friends and partners of this ministry. We'd like to invite you to be a partner, and as you do, the Lord will prosper the work of your hands. Please call the number on the screen. 
416-616-2425 or 647-430-8936. You can also visit our website at www.cacbethel.com. God bless you.